know that lack of clarity and misalignment of expectations is one of the biggest reasons behind workplace and contract breakdowns. So I've seen it time and time again that these amazing people come together on a piece of work, but it all falls apart because there was a lack of clarity and alignment around the expectations. So let's say you go in to your employer to do a piece of work for another company and they're like, we want you to do this amazing thing. You're like, I can totally do that. And you go off and you do this thing and you're smashing yourself. You're working so hard. You're doing some of your best work ever. And then when you deliver it, they're like, this is totally not what I want. And you're like, this is my best work ever. What are you talking about? You know, it's because there was a misalignment of what the expectation was of what was going to be delivered. So when you're working with any client or any staff member, this has to be not just clients, but this has to be your staff members as well. I want you to be really crystal clear on your expectations and confirm it. So first, explain what it is that you want done. Get them to confirm that expectation so that you hear it back from them. Put it in writing as well. And both of you confirm that you understand and agree what the expectation is of the piece of work. Because the saddest thing is when it breaks down just because of this small lack of communication or misalignment in expectation. Because we know, right, we can, two people can be in a situation, exact same conversation, and hear completely different things. You hear it with your partner all the time, right? You have a conversation, you're like, I didn't hear that. And you're like, it was like the whole conversation. You're like, what do you mean? I didn't hear that. <laughs> so you're like, okay, that didn't work. But that's because we have different perceptions of different situations. So you have to be really careful that there is an aligned um, expectation of any piece of work. That's when you're asking. So when you ask someone to do something for you in the office and when you get angry because what they give you back is not what you wanted and you're like, oh, they're hopeless. They're not hopeless. There was a misalignment of expectation. There was a miscommunication there, right? So we have to be really careful about being quick to jump and think it's the person. We always think it's the person. We always blame the person. It's never the person. It's the process always and every time. We didn't have a clear process to confirm expectations and then it all breaks down because the problem is, right? So when this happens, so if you're on the receiving end of that, you're like, my reputation is ruined. People are going to, they're going to go bad, bad mouth me through the whole industry. No one's ever going to want to work with me again. It's a real fear, right? So if you want to make sure that your reputation stays intact and not want to, the problem is we sometimes want to be flexible so that we can promise the world, give the world, do whatever they need. What you need is to give them what they want. Okay. And you need to be very clear on what it is that they want and give them that thing. Okay, so it's great that you can offer the world and do the world for them, but that's when things start to break down, right? Just because we can doesn't mean we should, and we need to be very careful about what it is we do do. Okay, so be careful about blaming the person. It's often about a breakdown in the process of confirming the expectations or no expectations were set at all. It was very fluid, and then it all goes to poop. Okay, so... Next time you're asking someone to do a piece of work for you or you've been asked to do a piece of work for someone else, be careful about setting those expectations in writing, validating that you both have the same understanding. Could save your reputation.